My boyfriend, 35M, poured water on me while I was sleeping because I've been nagging him about his job, 23F. I am a 50 yo guy. Trust me on this one. 35 yo men normally don't date or have relationships with 23 yo women for healthy or sincere reasons. Often, if not always, older men go after younger women because they are more inexperienced and more easily manipulated or controlled. He is treating you with contempt. You can do so much better than him. You deserve so much better than him. This is a massive overreaction and abusive response. He didn't want you to sleep, nor to be able to get back to sleep because the bed was completely drenched. At 35, I expect a more mature response. This was an incredibly manipulative move on his part. I'm not sure what to think, is dangerous and unhealthy. Be careful. This is a weakness. An insecurity. It is something humans do when in uncomfortable situations. You think what you think. You don't get to control it like that. You need to be honest with yourself about how you feel about this. It is obvious how you should feel. What would you think if that happened to one of your friends? Clearly you are embarrassed for a reason. So stop doubting your feelings, and looking for people to justify or excuse this behavior. What happened is simple. You have an obese, uncomfortable with himself, angry, immature boyfriend. A 35-year-old dating a younger girl, no woman his own age would tolerate this little boy. I don't know what you're doing with this guy, or why you would tolerate being treated this way. But if you were my daughter and continued to date this guy the first would feel I failed as a parent. And it would bring me great sadness. Get away from this sick man. How can you respect him? You deserve better. The question here isn't, is this a normal response, but is your boyfriend a real 35 years adult? This definitely abusive, irresponsible and immature. And I'm not really sure about the age gap, too. Hello. I've been in therapy for years and this reminds me of a conversation I had with my therapist regarding my trauma. After a few years of piecing out my life I finally came to the realization I had actually suffered abuse. I told her I guess I never really considered myself having been abused because we always hear about the worst situations and compare. I had been hit but it wasn't a common occurrence. My abuse was mostly emotional. My therapist said that in a lot of ways she felt emotional abuse was worse because the scars and bruises are internal. It leaves marks on your psyche. His response was in no way normal. It is a type of manipulation and emotional abuse. If you love him, tell him he needs some help beyond a change in job. He needs to help himself get some appropriate coping mechanisms. If you aren't that invested, you should bail. This was a red flag. Good luck with everything. That's not a stress response. It's a putting you in your place and asserting dominance over you to cow you response. And I have a feeling this is an escalation from the way he has been treating you, and you've gotten so used to it that you are coming up with excuses for his behavior. Because most people would have gotten up off that bed and kicked his ass then packed it out the door. That's a load of crap. It's time to figure out how to leave him. You know it's not okay. Would you ever do that to someone else for any reason, let alone, stress? If your answer is no then there's your answer. Hi ah. Uh, you remind me of my mom when she younger, when I was younger. I'm 22 F. My mom has not always been fat, but she has been as for a long time she first gained weight after the birth of one of my younger sisters, 17 years ago now, and never lost it. She has always struggled with her self-esteem, and she still puts a lot of her value on how men see her and value her. It stems from her childhood, her dad and older brothers were abusive, and her grandfather, who wasn't, died when she was still young. My ex-stepfather, the father of my siblings, used to do that. Pour ice-cold water on my mom while she slept to wake her up and yell at her. He did many other things that were much worse, too, but they're not pertinent. He was an abuser. For years, my mother stayed with him because she loved him, and she depended on him for a lot of her self-worth. Please, ah, don't chain yourself to this man. You are so young. You will find another man who notices you. You will find a partner that loves you and adores you for who you are. You deserve to be with someone who appreciates you and works with you to make both of yourselves and your lives better. You're 23 in a master's program. You're amazing. And even if you did decide to take some time off from school, there's nothing stopping you from picking it back up. And, very basically you should feel safe and comfortable at all times in your own bed. 
period. A lot of these comments seem very harsh, because to someone who's never felt the way you felt or been in a situation like you've been it, the answer seems very clear and obvious. I know how hard it is to be in this type of situation, and how much harder is it to get out of it. You deserve better. Not a normal response while some people have different responses to stress, pouring water on you while you are sleeping, which is like when everyone is most vulnerable, shows that he is being a child and the fact that he insulted you while you weren't even really fully conscious to hear it just reasserts the fact that he's being childish. This is abusive and you already know. The way I can tell you already know is that you are unwilling to tell your friends about it. I'm guessing you don't want to be I see the looks of horror and pity on their faces. When we're hiding things from the people that love us, we're hiding something we don't even want to admit to ourselves. No it's not normal. He's a piece of shit, and you're an amazing woman working on your health and education. He's subtracting from not adding to you. I'm so sorry this happened to you. The way I think about these kind of things are, if something like this happens over something small, mind you you're trying to help him better himself, then imagine the reaction of something much larger, please confront him about it, and if this behavior continues, then you have to ask yourself if you want to put up with being treated such a way for the rest of your life. That behavior is unacceptable. Even if you had been nagging him, he could have communicated his feelings to you like an adult instead of pouring water on you. Him being stressed is not an excuse to do this to you. Remember, he consciously made the decision to grab the bottle of water, open it, go to you and pour the whole bottle over your head while you were sleeping. He could have stopped at any point but decided to go through with it. Please leave him. Yay that's kind of weird, then again I'm sure an ex of mine purposefully lost my favorite pair of shorts. I'd throw it back on him, not the water, but the idea of what he thinks he needs to do to get out of this situation. Remember you're not responsible for him, your partner has got to take some responsibility. This is exactly why I don't recommend age gap relationships especially when one person is so young. You need to break it off and work on your self-esteem before getting into relationships. Maybe seek counseling if you can, but you need to be healthy and value yourself so that you don't put up with stuff like this. Bro that is messed up. He is a 35-year-old man-child who in the right mindset of a mature and responsible individual pours water on their loved ones while they are sleeping to release stress. That is just an excuse. That is unusual behavior for someone that loves you. Leave this man-child my dude cuz I would never. Peroid. Wow. It doesn't seem like he respects you. It's disrespectful to pour water on you. It's disrespectful to wake you up, to add those things together? That can't be good. Also, his reasoning is because you're a bitch. I understand everyone is saying, dump him, and I know it isn't that easy. Also, it's weird that he's 12 years older than you, obese and he's a dick to you. I mean to some point, something's gotta give right? It is abuse. Abuse takes many forms, not just physical. It wasn't as if he was pranking you, he did it as cold-blooded revenge and that's savage. Excuses don't excuse your behavior. So where do you draw the line? He's stressed so what can he get away with? I feel sorry for you if you're more afraid of being alone than being someone's punching bag. If someone so scummy has that much control over your self-worth? You need some validation and it ain't going to come from you. I'm 28 now. When I was 21 I got my first proper girlfriend. I'd lost my virginity and had short relationships before then but this was the first one that lasted over a year. When it was over I mourned. I mourned because I thought it would take another 21 years for someone decent to notice me, and I was so scared of being alone again. One friend in particular really helped me during that time. Encouraged me to get back into dating. And I discovered that I had changed. I was more confident. I didn't even realize it at first, but I had changed over those years of that relationship. I'd become stronger. I had standards. I was more secure and women noticed it. I had my ho season and now I'm happily single until I find someone to be serious about. You may have more strength than you realize, but you can't and won't grow with this man. Either shut up, accept your lot in life and be happy being mistreated or do something about it. It isn't easy, but nothing worth having is. Good luck. Why no? I was like you before. 
I got bullied and called ugly and was a virgin with no self-esteem who went through a lot of abuse and ended up in a terrible relationship. And here I am, with a job, out of the toxic relationship and 100% happier after antidepressants and therapy, and also in a healthy loving relationship and have friends that actually treat me nicely for once. Just because those thoughts are in your head doesn't mean they are true. You can grow and be worthy without lots of attention from man. You're smart and working on your masters, that's great. I really really urge you to get professional help for these self-esteem issues. What is the answer you want? You most likely already knew that it isn't a normal, even before you posted this. In the comments though, you're defending his abusive actions and making excuses for him. Would you allow a friend to make the same mistakes you are? You shouldn't feel like you need validation. If you feel as though you need someone to have motivation for yourself, there's more than one issue here. Just letting you know you can unconditionally accept yourself because you are alive and human. It doesn't need to be conditional. To accept yourself you don't need to be fit, healthy, in a relationship, anything at all. Can we strive for better? Sure. Should we base our self-acceptance on it? I don't think so. Conditional self-acceptance causes so many issues for people that they don't even know. Practice some unconditional self-acceptance. Asterisk does a shitty thing to you, while you were asleep, no less, asterisk. You've been acting lick three a bitch, fuck him. Yeah stress can make people grumpy, but that's some abusive behavior, it's not how you treat others, certainly not those who care about you. IDC if he thinks you've been acting like a bitch, you don't do that shit to someone. He's 35 years old, he sounds 5. Sometimes people with such an age gap have a real connection. But most of the time the older person is either a loser who can't get women their own age, or is an abuser who is manipulating someone much younger and less experienced than them. An overweight 35-year-old dating someone 12 years younger than him? Odds are, he's just a loser who can't get people his own age and is manipulating you because you're young. Red flag number one. Red flag number two. He has poor communication skills. Why didn't he tell you while you were awake that he was upset with you? Why did he wait till you were asleep to assault you and bring it up? This is not normal mature adult behavior. Red flag number three. He called you a bitch. And he did so unprovoked while you were asleep. He didn't call you a bitch in the heat of a screaming match or argument. He did so while you were sleeping in bed. Red flag number four. He dumped water on you. That is just straight up abuse. He's not leaving bruises or giving you black eyes or putting you in the hospital but that is absolutely 100% abusive. Have some self-respect and dump his ass. Not only is it abuse but extremely immature, acts from someone who isn't ready for a serious relationship. When I was 13 or so I slept over a friend's and because he wanted me to wake up instead of doing what a normal person did he poured droplets of water on my face, at least thinking back I hope it was water, your boyfriend needs to sort his life out emo. Question for commenters because I don't think I can make a whole post to address this. It seems like everyone in the comments has a similar take on what to do, dump him I want to know, why do people date bad partners anyways? Like once they find the problem and it's a major red flag, why do they stay? Also this sub is full of abuse stories from partners over 10 years older. Why? Really sorry for this intrusive question, I've been reading all these stories and giving my best advice, but I'm running into essentially the same posts one after another. I am not sure we should call this abuse. I know we all love to categorize people these days. We all seem to be certified physiologists. What this is, is immaturity. You should talk to him about why he reacted this way. He is stressed but he can't turn that around on you when you are trying to help. Also ask him what he thinks he should do if he doesn't like your suggestions. If he is overweight to the point his knees hurt, then jogging is one of the worst things to do. He could be permanently damaged. You have the right idea though. Exercise does help with getting someone to feel better. He needs low impact exercise. For an overweight person swimming is a great way to exercise. See if there is a community pool around. With COVID this may not be easy. My BF has also been going through work stress and as a supportive GF would do, I've been trying to make him take his mind off it, just as you. Under no fucking circumstances would I tolerate what your BF did. 
That is deaf abuse. He does not respect you and takes his issues out on you. Is that really the kind of relationship you would like to be in? I wouldn't. That's not normal at all. There is a reason a fat old man needs to date someone who is much much younger, cause young people don't realize when they are in an abusive relationship as quick as someone who is their own age. He sounds like a complete asshole. Jumping on the top comment to say it's totally abuse, especially considering the age difference. I don't see that getting mentioned a lot but ah, there's a reason he is dating someone who is much younger. He is emotionally abusive and is simply taking off his stress with work on you. Please don't tolerate this and leave. Partners are rarely abusive from the outset. Abuse typically on occurs after the feeling of love and attachment forms. If it happened sooner people would wake away, usually. The reason people stay in abusive relationships is because they want to fix things and do not understand what brought about this change. For others it is because they do not want to lose or waste the time they invested in the relationship. They want to have that fairy tale ending and believe if they stick it out things will get better. The longer the abuse carries on, the stronger people cling to this fallacy. As for why the age difference leads to abuse. This could be because some predatory individuals find it easier to control people who are under 25. Another reason could be generational differences where clashing values lead to abuse. Not a normal response at all. That's an attack. That is abuse and these things often escalate. You've been acting like a bitch because you want him to engage in activities with you to help combat his stress. Holy crap, that's a scary attitude to have. I wouldn't stand for it. I can't understand why people are telling you to leave this guy. What you really need to do is set him on fire while he sleeps, then have a water bottle handy so when he wakes up you can ask, need some water? And squirt the entire bottle in his eyes. Then leave. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you are new, subscribe and click on the bell icon.